Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 5 of the Daily Mix. Today I'm having to film this at work on the side. Yeah, I know, I'm a rebel. Um, but I'm using limited resources. I try to do the face cam thing again. And for some reason, like, it'll record both, but it won't let me, like, save it with both camera angles and... I can't get the face cam separate. It'll only let me get the scale part. So, I'm just going to do the scale for now. You know, just a scale view. I know some might not like that much, but I, I really want to get something out to you every day. So, I am working on to find a solution for that. So, please bear with me. I am working on it. I have only a certain amount of resources in order to do this, but... I've already received a lot of information from you guys saying you want me to do, you want me to continue working on Fruity Pebbles, well, I mean Flintstones, which I really want to do too because this is one of my, one of my favorite liquids to vape, so I really want to nail this too. So right now, because you can't see me, I'm putting on my gloves. I already amassed the flavors that I want to use for this mix. Uh, I already had some ideas when I vaped it yesterday. And me being a dodo brain, I forgot to actually bring to work with me the uh, Flintstone sample. But I remember it from yesterday and I know where I want to go. And everything here is going to be on ELR, the changes. But basically, here was my thinking. First of all, I did vanilla bean ice cream again right here from TFA and I put that up a little bit I put that to 3% this time instead of the 2 next up I did uh, FA Marshmallow and FA Marshmallow I'm putting that in to supplement that marshmallow flavor and I put that in at 1% just a little bit because we still got the toasted marshmallow so I kind of want to build off that because I felt like the base, we were really onto something, but the fruity part was a little bit lacking. So, followed by that, I got the sweetener. I don't have to show you that. Then next up, I got Fruit Flakes by Flavor West. This was a biggie. Fruit Flakes, fruit flakes tasted closer to where I wanted to be rather than the fruit circles that we used originally. Uh, fruit circles kind of lacks like the really strong lemon taste in my opinion but if you tried them both you would know what I mean uh fruit flakes kind of has more of a flake taste to it kind of tastes more like a fruity pebbles rather than a fruit loop if that makes sense so I'm going to attempt to use this one and there are so many other variations we can go through but right now I'm trying to do process of elimination and if it does taste like the flavor that we're going for once it's in the mix, we can always just adjust our percentages and go from there. Uh, the next ingredient that I changed up a little bit is F.A. Orange. I backed down on F.A. Orange a little bit just to, uh, because when I tasted it, it tastes too much orange. I was going under the assumption that it would die down in time, but I think when I ordered it from Vape Wild, even the orange then didn't seem that strong, so I think we're too strong with the orange, so... I backed down on F.A. Orange just so it was there, but it is still there. And I took out Capella Juicy Orange. So, I, I didn't think it would need both. But, I mean, that's something we can revisit too once we taste it. The next thing I noticed, when I was sampling them both, I put in Capella Sugar Cookie in this one. Because I tasted that kind of cookie, bread, or a bakery note. I tasted it on the back end. So I want to put that in at a small percentage. Right now it's going in at 1. I might even lower that down to a half a percent. But I felt like I needed to get that in there. I did indeed taste it. And then Vanilla Custard. Before I had uh, Cap Vanilla Custard version 1. Now I'm doing Vanilla Swirl. Because you don't taste any custard notes in the Flintstone recipe. So I thought TFA Vanilla Swirl might go good here. And I upped that, instead of 1%, I did 2%. And then last but not least, 
Toasted Marshmallow, which this bad boy right here is the hidden champion. I think this one is the key. And it smells so good, I gotta order a big batch of that. So let's just get right into the mix. I know today is going to seem a little disorganized, but I'm just working with the resources I got. I want to keep your guys' content coming and fulfill my promises to you guys. And th this helps me out too. It gets me on a schedule. I just got to get better equipment to work with and be able to figure out how to do a better format so I can do the face and the scale when I'm not at home and when I have to do these on the go. So the first ingredient we're doing is... Uh, TSA vanilla bean ice cream and we're gonna do that at 3% so that's going in at 0.9 grams Okay, vanilla bean ice cream is in. I'm going to put it over to the other side so I remember I put it in. And tear that out. Followed by flavor art marshmallow. Shake that up. I do love this camera on this phone. I know I said it before, but the dual pixel focuses so fast. I wish my other cameras were like this. Which I should have brought, I know. So... Alright, F.A. Marshmallow is in at 1%, so it's 0.3. Okay, there we go. F.A. Marshmallow is in. That's a good one to have. Next up. This is a TFA sweetener. It's just in the Vape Wild bottle because I already had the bottle. Why waste bottles, right? Okay, so TFA sweetener is in at 2%, so that's in at 0.6 grams. Here we go. Sweetener is in. And tear that out. Followed by Flavor West Fruit Flakes. This, out of all of them, is probably my favorite for uh, fruity pebbles type vapes. But I do like to layer these, which I'll show you in another video. I have a really good fruity pebbles recipe that I haven't released yet. But it involves layering a lot of these fruity pebble flavorings. So uh, fruity flakes is in at three percent, so that's 0 0.9 grams. Okay, Fruity Flakes is in. Next up, F.A. Orange. Flavor Art Orange. And always shake your ingredients. F.A. Orange is in at 1%, so that's 0.3 grams. Okay, F.A. Orange is in. Next up is Capella Sugar Cookie. Capella Sugar Cookie. And that is in at 1% as well. 
that's 0 0.31 grams. Okay, there we go. Capella sugar cookies in. Next up, TFA vanilla swirl. And this is pretty much just like custard without the eggy note, essentially. A little bit different, but still the same. No, a little different, it's still the same kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, TFA vanilla swirl, 2%, so that's 0. 0.6 grams. All right, now the flavor we have all been waiting for. Are you ready, guys? TFA, toasted marshmallow. And this flavor right here, guys, was a surprise to me. I, I didn't expect this flavor to be as good as it is. It was just kind of like, sometimes you get those flavors that you're just shocked how good they are. And this is one of them. And, like, you wouldn't think a marshmallow could be so good, but this one. Oh, it just smells awesome, tastes awesome, it's everything you could want. And I'm also, I've never used Loran's marshmallow, but I've also heard some great things about that. I think I'm going to pick that one up soon, too. I got a list. Once I get some money together, I'm going to get another order, and I'm going to get some, some good flavorings. All right, so toasted marshmallow, 5%, so that's 1.64 grams. Almost there. If you guys are... Oh, there we go. So if you guys are looking for a good place and you're new to DIY to get flavorings and get them fast, at least if you're on the East Coast, I can't say enough good stuff about Bull City. Like, they are so fast. Like, I'll order, like, on a Monday, and by Wednesday, it's at my house. Crazy. Which, I need to get some vape mail. It's been a while. Okay, got vaped out there for a minute. Okay, so next up is nicotine. It's just in a vape wild bottle, but it's 100 milligrams in PG, not VG, PG. But I still like to shake it well. And disclaimer, like always, make sure you're wearing your gloves and any proper safety precautions you need to take. And then this goes in at 0.93 grams. There we go. And now, it's just time for the VG. Put the VG in. Time for some VG. And VG is calling for 29.89 grams. One thing I don't like about pouring VG is a lot of times in these bottles, and that's why I normally use beakers, is because these bottles, when it's just pure VG going down them, it'll get stuck in this neck, and it will overflow. That can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but I bet you can relate. I bet all of you have gone through that a couple times. 
At least if you're doing it by weight. All right, well, you guys get the point. I'm just going to put in the rest of the VG, and then that pretty much wraps it up. Again, sorry for this brief video today. I just wanted to fulfill my promise and get a content video out every day for you guys. I want to keep this groove going. I also want to do the adjustment to the Flintstone recipe. It's going to be on ELR as uh, the uh, Flintstones Attempt 2. So it's going to be the second attempt. Uh, I'm probably going to make a video where I try a whole bunch of the different flavors and rather do like a tasting video and then mixing videos from that. And then we can discuss and maybe even vote for which ones we want to like adjust and stuff like that. But I'm still working out the kinks, but I will see you guys tomorrow. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it really means so much. Uh, and it helps me be able to put more into the channel if there's more subscribers. It's just the sad truth, but that's the way it is. Also, please like the video, share it. Share it to, share it to groups you might be in, like Facebook groups, um, on Instagram, whatever. Anything really helps out the cause. But I will be here, I will be making you guys videos, and I will try to help you out as much as I can. If you have a question or a comment, leave it in the comments below. And that about wraps it up. So thank you guys so very much for watching. If you want some more DIY content, another good creator is DIY Vapor. Uh, the gentleman's name is Chris. He also does like laid back mixes. Very good dude. And then you guys probably already know about DIY or Die New Amsterdam Vapes. But there's plenty of stuff to keep you guys mixing. Just have fun with it. Experiment and go crazy. It's all about how much fun you have with it and making some tasty mixes. Forget about all the other dumb stuff that comes with it in drama. It's just about having fun and enjoying what you're vaping and staying off smoking. So, congratulations, especially if you're brand new and it's your first day off cigarettes. Good job. Alright, well that about wraps it up for the third time. You guys have yourselves a great day.